Hello everyone. So today, I'm going to be riding the Altera four-wheeler. Because one of my viewers, who just happens to be my friend, said that we need a video of me riding the four-wheeler. Chain drive, two-wheel drive. Yeah. I also got this feather. Now, it's going to be a short video, but I'm going to situate my phone in my pocket. Nope, that's a bit too far in my pocket. How am I going to situate this right? Oh, yeah. Let me film. I can't film a landscape, I don't think. So, we're just going to have to... Nope. Hmm, this is going to be more annoying than I thought. Eh, whatever, I usually drive one-handed anyways. Let's, let's ride. There seems to be a tree down. Yeehaw! This is my front brake, which just happens to be a disc brake. This thing also turns really well. And this is my rear brake. And as you can see, the brakes fully hit. Get over this little look. But I'm sliding. That's because the rear brake does awful in uh, going down a hill and forward. But does really well in reverse because it's a rear brake. Now, it's never a great idea to drive with one hand, but oh well, I'm not that great at ideas, so. What a beautiful sun. I'm gonna not film the sun. garden beautiful garden our sunflowers is growing and will look like some weeds then corn over there and these are baby sunflowers sprouts and these right over here are some lovely corns 
They look like fat grass. Oh, I can zoom in. Wow. I didn't know I could do that. So, yeah. I don't know if that showed up on the video, but it probably did. If you hold the front brake down all the way and... Oh yeah, I forgot the front brake's kind of trash, but... I don't know, I can probably do it in reverse better. This has a limiter on it too. And this is the override for that limiter. So I can't do it with one hand, but whatever. If I'm going past the RPMs, it'll try to limit it so I don't blow up the engine. And that's what that override's for. For going faster in reverse, which is kind of useless. Also, not sure if you saw that, but when this thing, when you hit the brakes, or when you just let the engine die down going down a hill, it'll basically go into a little neutral. It's literally neutral. So neutral's kind of useless. You can just engage it on the fly. And I'll go up here and show you what it looks like when the engine is actually doing engine braking. Now you couldn't really tell there, but it's a bit better. And by that I mean, it'll still go really fast down a big hill, but it won't just instantly launch you into what would be fifth gear on a normal four-wheeler. So yeah. I just switched hands to show you the amazingness of hitting the brakes. Very good way to slide. Pretty cute. I like to just use my middle finger only because that's all the power you really need for this brake. Otherwise, you just kind of slide all the time. Having only one finger helps control. And since I have my hands at the very end of the uh, holder, the handlebars, it makes for a really good like ergonomic position to put your middle finger instead of your index finger because then you don't have enough leverage and the brakes are sluggish because you're not pulling them hardly as hard. So, switch back. started so with this said this has been dream master now see y'all next time